Uh, Welsh Beaks, it had to be an interesting day, uh, a tough day for you, I'm assuming, but uh, what led you to, to where, where you are today? Interesting day is one way to put it. Um, you know, uh, uh, somewhat a sad day, somewhat a fun day, you know, a whole bunch of different emotions. I, you know, I don't know, it's hard to put my finger on any one thing. I just, uh, I just knew that um, when it was time, I would have a gut feeling and, and uh, would make the decision that it was time for me to not coach anymore. And so it was difficult, but, um, you know, I guess you just got to look forward. And, I, and as I looked at it, and I really did some uh, serious thinking as we got into the spring and coming into a, which would be summer off season, that it was time for me to step away. Is it a time fly situation here, four and a half decades as a head coach? <laughs> <laughs> well, I went by awful fast. Yeah, you know, I um, time goes by too fast. You know, um, I still think of myself as really young until I look in the mirror and then I go, whoa. But uh, you know, it's when you enjoy something. I guess they always say it. It, it, it time goes by fast, and um, there's nothing more than I have enjoyed than. Uh, coaching this great game of football. I know behind your name it's going to say 295 wins. I think I know the answer to this question. How many of those victories did the head coach get? None. <laughs> I knew you'd say I, that. I mean, you know, it, it's just, uh, you know, it, you know, you look back at things, but it's really all about the kids. The, you know, the, the kids get the wins. The coaches help them put them in the right direction and put them in a, in a place where they, and, you know, they have a, a chance of success and a hope of success. But, you know, it's the kids, and that's, what's, that's what, what, why you should uh, uh, coach. I'm trying to think, and I don't remember. Maybe you can help me. Do you remember the first game where you wore long pants on the sidelines? Well, there wasn't very many, but I, I think there was a couple of uh, when we were fortunate enough to still be playing in November. That where I wore pants on the sidelines. I think one game was back in 1985, and it was a championship game against Bismarck High, and Bismarck High came back to beat us. But it was like about 11, 12 below wind chill that day. And I do, as I look at pictures, I had pants on that day. <laughs> I don't know how many people knew that that was kind of uh, your thing for a long time, wasn't it? Well, I was. It's it, it still was at the end, and uh, so it was just something I did. And there were some reasons behind it, but. Uh, yeah, it was something actually the kids even looked forward to or wanted to see. When I first started going and covering Saints games, uh, I was at Hughes Field, and then we transitioned to the bowl, and now we're standing uh, on a beautiful turf field that's got your name on it. Uh, what are some of your reflections of just your time in those venues? Well, you know, I think all of the changes uh, were good. Uh, but. As I look back, um, you know, back in the days of playing at Hughes Field, it was affectionately called the rock pile by the end of the season. And uh, what was great about Hughes Field was the tradition at Hughes Field, the rivalries at Hughes Field. But back then, you know, a Friday night high school football was the event in town. Yep. It was huge. And so the whole town looked forward to Friday night football games. So most of the town was out at Hughes Field. And so the crowd was, you know, if you remember the field, the crowd was right on top of the field. Um, uh, you could hear everything that was said <laughs> to you and about you as a coach. And just the atmosphere was awesome. And the rivalries were just fantastic. And so I think back at, you know, the rock pile was hard to play on. But I just think at that time in Bismarck, that was the show in town, high school football Friday nights. That was great. I think that uh, as far as uh, the bowl, you know, it was really exciting to be part of the beginning of the bowl. We at St. Mary's and St. Mary's football were part of the original bowl committee and we were partners in the bowl and that was exciting to get going and it was a great place for the kids to play and a great situation for the kids and for the, everything to get better. And then, you know, now th this place up here is, uh, I think, sometimes too nice uh, compared to our old practice field. Um, but, you know, it's been great, I, um, but it's really beautiful. It's a beautiful school. The field is nice. We've got a great place to practice. I think one of the sweetest things about being up here and with this field is we have a home field. Um, our junior high has a home field, you know, so they practice here. They play here. And so I just think that's really been a, a big, big plus in, in, it, in, in addition and help to our football program. Uh, how old were you? And how did football grab onto you that 
tightly as it has your whole year or your whole life, I mean. I'm not sure it's so long ago I can remember when I started playing, but I think I started playing the game in sixth grade, something like that in seventh grade. And I always liked the game of football for a lot of the same reasons I still love it today. And I just think that, uh, especially high school football, it's a game that it, anybody can play. Um, your talent or lack of talent doesn't limit you. Uh, it doesn't matter to anybody of any size, anybody of any speed, anybody of any talent can play high school football and contribute to a team. And that's what I liked about it. It was so many different types of people and characters that could play. And I think some of our sports get really specialized and it takes great talent to play hockey and it probably takes great talent to be in the top eight on a basketball team. But you know, you come to a Friday night at high school football, you know, 45 to 50 kids get to play and contribute to their teammates and their school and, and their buddies. So that's kind of what is always what I love about high school football. And I like the physicalness of it. I think that it's a game that really, treat, really truly teaches how to get along with other people and how to be a good teammate to be successful. I think it takes everybody on the field and, and practice to help a team be successful. I think those are just great things. And then I, I do like the, the, the toughness in the game of football. Um, you know, you think about it, you're out here in August and it's about 98 degrees and you've got 35 pounds of plastic on you and some crabby old coach is telling you to run faster. And you get to the end of the year, it might be 15 or 16 below wind chill and you're still outside. And so those are the things that I've always loved about high school football. Uh, people remember championships. Those are the years I think that are almost, I, I'm not going to speak for you, but sometimes might be easy to coach because you have a lot of talent. But I, I'm guessing sometimes uh, there were teams that some of your, you and your staff's best coaching might have been done where you got two more wins out of a team you might not have known that people don't quite remember. Is that is something like a stick? Am I, am I on the right track? Yeah, yeah. I think as you look at it as a coach, and I've always said this, um, coaches that are having tough seasons um, and maybe some of the wins aren't coming, those are the years the coaches have, they have to work the hardest and it's hardest on them. And so I think the when I think back and I think that of my staff, uh, particularly Toby Schweitzer, who's been with me for a long time and God bless him. But, uh, you know, I think when things are not going in, in the right direction as a coach, you really got to work harder. It, you, know, you watch more film, you spend more time getting ready for practice, you try, spend more time trying to figure some stuff out. And, you know, when, you, when your things are going the right way and maybe you got lots of talent, uh, the kids take care of a lot of the things that you as a coach do. So I've always thought that, I, you know, as coaches, we work harder when things are tough. And I'm not sure everybody appreciates that or knows that, but it really is true. And lastly, Schmeeks, uh, what are you going to do now? Uh, come, come Friday or come, you know, August when practice starts rolling around and all the things that you've done for the last four and a half decades, what's on the docket? Well, I, you know, it'll be, I'm not sure. It'll be interesting. I, I have plenty of things I like to do. I don't think that'll be a problem. I'm sure there'll be a big void and a big miss as we come to August. Uh, as I start looking back, you know, it's really been a way of life uh, for me from the sixth grade on, come August, the, the beginning of August, uh, I've been on a football field. And so it'll be different. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you, OP.